Hey, this is Joe from Personas. Today we're going to talk about MP3 export. Don't make this huge mistake. Two things. Thing number one, say hi to Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Secondly, let's talk about numbers. Specifically, sample rate and bit rate. Sample rate of your music and recordings, bit rate of the MP3 that you're exporting. If you don't get that second one right, all your wonderful work that you've done on your music will go down the drain because that exported file that you just exported sounds like garbage. We'll listen to what that sounds like here in a second. But real quick, what's the difference? Sample rate is the, is the rate at which your audio is sampled. So the measurements are 44.1 kilohertz, 48, 96, 192. I do everything at 44.1 or 48. Anything higher, I don't see much of a benefit, and it takes up two to four times as much hard drive space. I'd rather not give up that hard drive space and processing power for something that I can't really hear. But I'm not here to sell you on that. That's just a footnote here before we get into the real point, which is the MP3 bit rate. So the problem is bit rate can also refer to 24-bit recording, which is also what I do. But it also refers to the settings when you export an MP3. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go and export this mix down here. And if we go, there's a lot of options to choose, but MP3 is a common option for exporting to send via email or text. It's a smaller file size, right? We take the full WAV file, might be 50 megabytes. The MP3 might be 5 to 10. Um, and that tends to be a little bit easier to share with people, right? Granted, bandwidth is getting such... At, to such a point where maybe that's not going to be an issue anymore, but it's still a reality. So if I go to export an MP3, check it out. It gives me the option of a sample rate, which I can match up with the sample rate of my session, which it already kind of defaults to, and then this bit rate here. This is what I want to focus on today. So sample rate is in kilohertz, 1,000 hertz, 1,000 cycles per second. Bit rate, specifically as it relates to MP3, is in kilobits per second. So this is where it gets confusing. We talk about compression in audio. Let's slap a really cool compressor on that vocal. That's a, that's a thing that you know turns things down and does all the cool stuff that compressors do. But then there's a thing called data compression. Like if you take a bunch of files and you create a zip file, there's an algorithm that makes that file smaller so that it's easier to send as a package, right? I'm not a computer scientist, but I think that's the general, very oversimplified gist of something like a zip file. Okay. If you work in video, we tend to take these big, huge, raw video files, these, you know, MP4 files and, and whatever comes off your camera, MOV. And when we export them, it makes it down into a smaller file because the big files are just massive. Um, with audio, you probably know this already, but there's a, an algorithm called MP3. It takes our big wave file and just does some magic to the to the file itself to make it much smaller while trying to maintain the audio quality. So a five megabyte file will sound just almost as good as a 50 megabyte file. Here's the problem. There are different levels of that. So when I go in here and I say, okay, I'm just gonna choose 64. 64 is still higher than 44.1, it must be good, right? See, that's the problem. These numbers have nothing to do with each other. This has to do with basically how much information we're leaving in the music, or conversely, how much we're taking out of it. Uh, and if you go as low as 64 kilobits per second, I don't, I don't care if it's an amazing mix, it's still going to sound pretty trash when you export it. Here's my recommendation. Go with the highest setting. I always do 320 kilobits per second. You can go at 192. It'll still sound okay. Um, 320 to me, for me, I don't have super amazing ears, but it's hard for me to hear a difference between the 320K MP3 and a full WAV file, okay? Um, even the 256 and 192, is, it's, it's, you're, you're kind of splitting hairs. But down at 128 is okay for spoken word. 64 is just plain terrible. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me export this song at 32 and then I'll go back, or at 320, sorry, and then I'll go back and export it at 64 and we'll listen to the difference. Just for reference, here's what the original unexported WAV file sounds like. Super, wonderful. Now let's listen to the 320 kilobit per second MP3 file. Yeah. 
Now, let's listen to the 64 kilobit per second MP3. Did you hear that? Like, it's... I'm not even trying to over-exaggerate it. That's just what it sounds like. Um, you hear, especially the higher frequencies just get the shaft for some reason. They There's this warbliness, this kind of sound in the upper frequencies. The low end is still wonky too, but the place where you hear it the most is the upper frequencies, which is why I picked this song with that nice bright background vocal sound. But even if we go and listen to like when the full drums are in, you'll hear it's just there's just no redeemingness to this. So can you imagine working on a song and it sounds similar to this in your studio, then you export it, send it to your friends, go listen on their theater system or listen in the car and it just sounds awful. So you think, oh, I must have an EQ setting wrong or I must have compressed it wrong or I must be a terrible mix engineer. Nope, you just exported it the wrong setting. Go change that. Go see. Maybe your system is just defaulting to 64 bits per second. Change it to 320 and never ever go back again and you'll be happy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. I'm